Hey everybody, this is Larry up in Brandon, Minnesota. Just wanted to give you an update on my pop bottle garden. It's getting towards fall. Uh, I harvested the red bell pepper, the Swiss chard out here, the lettuce out of here, cucumbers out of here, strawberries out of here, a kohlrabi out of here. And now I've switched it over some, to some tiny Tim tomato plants because I want to try to take this system indoors this winter and be eating tomatoes at Thanksgiving and Christmas, okay? That's the plan anyway. But I got to show you why these are looking so absolutely healthy. I had started these in three inch net pots, which they grew great. I had left them in there a little too long and I should have. Then I took them out and I put them in some standard potting mix and they were doing okay. But I'm, I'm really doing, I'm doing a series right now on, on vermiculture and about using worms to make worm castings and vermicompost and the huge, huge benefits from it. And I'll put a link to those videos underneath this and you can check it out. But what I did is those plants were looking so-so. So I took the plants out of the, the potting mix I had and I took these rain, uh, the pop out of the garden here, emptied them out and I mixed half of the worm castings and half peat. Put these plants in it and put them in here. I came back in four or five days and looked at it and this is what I came back to. The most vibrant green, healthy, uh, just perfect without a I can't find a bad leaf, a bad imperfection. It is absolutely proven that the vermiculture, vermicastings, create antibiotics and they, uh, they stop damping off and many diseases. It's some amazing stuff. Not only for planting and starting seeds and amendments to your garden, putting around your plants, but also you can make a worm tea that you can spray foliage that's supposed to be phenomenal. I just had to show you this. I am so amazed. I have never seen such a lush green and such a vibrant color and healthy aspect of plants from these worm castings. I used to think it was all about the worms. I was in the wholesale bay business. And let me tell you, it's a lot more than just the worms. The worms are great, but the result of what they give you, they give you a vermicompost that is in perfect. Why did I get such results in four to five days? Because by the time the worms break it down, those nutrient rich, that nutrient rich fertilizer is plant ready. It's ready for the plant to take it up right now. It isn't like putting standard fertilizer, uh, chemical or otherwise, on that has to break down and be used, or like your horse manure or common manure, that organisms and stuff have to break it down for the plant to take it up. With this, by the time the uh, worms get done with it, it is plant ready. The plants are ready to use it and that's why the spectacular results in such a short amount of time. But I just had to show you this. I am so pumped about this and I can't wait to try seeds with, start seeds with this compost to dress my blackberry plants and raspberry plants and put it around all kinds because if this does this to this, imagine what it does to everything else. But I just want to share with you, if you like this kind of stuff guys, sure, uh, subscribe to my channel. I'll keep you updated on all the different kinds of experiments, different things I do, and my ongoing series on vermiculture and worms and everything. I sure appreciate it. This is Larry up in Brainerd, Minnesota. Ciao.